My name's Jill Cox. I'm service manager within Children's Social Services. Um, I'm responsible for fostering our adoption services and for some of our looked after children. We were looking at how we could improve um, communication with our foster carers but also between our foster carers because we know that um, they have a really difficult job. They're working with children 24-7 and obviously we're available within mainly office hours and so there's large parts of the, the week where foster carers are potentially quite isolated um, and yet many of them are incredibly experienced carers and are able to offer support and advice to each other. We wanted to develop a website for our foster carers um, and we went to um, talk to them about what, what would be helpful for them. Um, and one of the things that was very, um, very clearly came across there was that they wanted a very interactive bulletin board, really, where they could um, post questions, ask for advice, either from us as a team or from other foster carers. Um, and they wanted that to be um, very accessible for them at sort of any time of the day um, or night. So we, we talked to our IT department about that. Um, and um, although they felt they could develop a website, they weren't sure about how they would be able to develop that sort of functionality. Um, they also weren't able to prioritise it in any way because of um, their, their other projects. Um, so we knew um, it was likely to take a long time to develop. Um, and they also were talking to us about ongoing costs to maintain the system. Um, and we didn't really have the resource to do that. And then at the same time, um, we started using Yama within the council and all staff were, um, were invited to join Yama. Um, and it was quite clear that Yama was just very, very easy to use and it provided all the functions that we would want for foster carers. Steve Beard and um, Helen Reynolds um, came up with the idea that we could use this for foster carers and that it would be quite easy to set up um, for them. So we got together and discussed that and everybody agreed it was just worth going for really and see what, what would happen. Um, Helen and Steve were able to set it up incredibly quickly and easily. I think it was set up within an hour or two of our meeting. Um, and we were able just to start inviting foster carers to join. Yama um, basically is a social networking site. It operates very similar to Facebook, but is secure. So it only has, it has closed access, so only those people that we invite can join. So it allows an opportunity for, um, for all of our foster carers to, to share information in quite a safe way um, and, um, and in quite a secure way. I'm Jenny Jones and I'm a foster carer for Monmouthshire and I live in Monmouth. Um, we had an invite from Jill Cox and had a look at Yammer site which was quite barren at the time and, and not very active and then we started to poke and prod and, and talk on there and it took off from there. It's a very good site for um, us to air our views. It's fabulous for communication. We share the good and the bad on there. We share personal information, we share um, stuff about the cases that, that we've got, the children that we've got. We um, anonymise all of the people that we talk about on there. Um, or most of the children are called by other names or nicknames or whatever. Um, and we do chat. We spent three years feeling quite alone um, and not really any contact unless it was a training day um, and things like that. So we actually feel very connected now. And I've had some lovely, lovely comments from foster carers about how they feel involved now and how they um, think that the association now that it's building um, and the conversations that we have are supportive for them. Um, and there was a dodgy document that came out that had a few restrictions in it that no one liked and we weren't going to really work with that document um, and Yama gave us a forum to start discussing that and to to use it to to spread the word about the fact that we weren't happy so yeah it's been brilliant yeah it's been very good so what enabled um, us to be able to work in this different way now um, within the council I think I think was really looking for something that worked. We knew that the, the old way of 
um, developing something like this by using our IT department wasn't actually achieving what we wanted it to. Um, it, it was going to take a long time, there was going to be a cost, and we still didn't know that we would end up with the product, the service that we wanted at the end of it. If it hadn't worked, well, we wouldn't have lost anything, um, and we would just have tried something else, whether that was going back to IT or considering other options. But they really felt like there was no reason not to try it. Um, and as it happened, it's worked really well, and our foster carers um, really make great use of it, and it's, it's a real tool for us.